I'm coming in this morning, Sunday morning. Gonna do a little three day line. Prior to going to see my folks for Christmas. But uh, <laughs> I gotta make it out across the Angry River. The wind's got it whipped up. And I'm gonna go out into a creek system and set a bunch of these 220 boxes for mink, raccoon, and otter. If I can catch an otter, it'd be a great Christmas present for me. We gonna try. I say it's just gonna be a three day run and pull the sets. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna head out across the river, get into the creek. See you over there. Well, it may not have been the best decision to try to make it across. That's 10, 11 inch roller waves. <laughs> Sometimes you paddle all you can trying to go forward and all you do is go sideways into the wind i'll keep at it i'm gonna get over to that creek creeks up in there see you in a few minutes i'm about to get seasick out here it's rough <laughs> see you in a few minutes i'm starting to find signs of life all over these logs and along the edge of this creek finally got in out of the wind but you can see the poop pile right there on these logs i found a good many of those on the way up through here uh, mink, otter, raccoon, muskrat, all do this. They'll climb up on these logs and poop. But uh, I'm going to keep looking around for trails to put these 220 boxes in. Got signs of life anyway. I'm going to keep moving down. Well, I'm starting to find these little crawl outs. A lot of it's probably beaver, some of it's otter. A lot of raccoons, but I found a unique situation right here. Between the creek edge and the timber, small brush thicket timber, is like a little lane that runs right up beside the creek that's clear. It'd make a clear travel path for anything coming up through here. I got this trail. I got this trail right here above me. And this little easy walking lane that runs up through this creek. I'm going to get right up in here and put out a 220 box. Everything coming up beside this creek that's not wanting to travel out in the water. There's an easy travel path for anything walking up through here. I'll get that 220 set right there and I'll show it to you when I'm done. Right here's this easy walking lane. It runs right up through here. Right here's my box right up next to the creek that I have fish in the box a 220 in it and I'm going to put out a little trailing scent of the crawfish crayfish oil I got it from Fleming Traps going to uh, give a little dose of that around the sets Smells good. I'm gonna keep moving. Another log that I'm finding down through here. We'll just poop. Poop all over the logs right in there. A lot of it's muskrat, but you, I've seen mink do a lot of that too. It's not really pellets, it's more of it is just stringy, long poop. <laughs> My box set's just right there. Got three or four trails coming out to it and i got all these signs of life up here on these logs hopefully something will get a whiff of that lure i put out and the bait in the box and keep moving i just watched a video or me and judas sat down and watched a video from 330 maniac about how beaver got so so tall to nip off the limbs i'm in the boat i'm out here and probably three feet of water and these are over my head been fresh you know freshly cut off all up in these limbs all this is done during high water you can see hopefully I'll get to it but right in here it's cut off right in there's cut off 
and it's way over my head in the canoe but they'll do this during high water keep moving you can see right here where there's a lot of stuff crawling out a lot of stuff fresh going up here on the sand going right down here above me coming back in i'm not seeing any sticks cut i'm not seeing any sign that tells me hey this is beaver i'm not seeing anything cut but i am going to sneak i'm going to put it right in a sneak in a 220 box right up here on this sandbar otter raccoon a lot of things could be using this trail but i'm really not seeing beaver sign that tells me hey this is a beaver <laughs> but, uh, i'll show you that set when i get it but... well i got set number two in 220 county box Got fish in the hole and uh, crawfish oil has a trailing scent around it. And there is trails all up through here in this thick brush. Trails coming out of the water below me. Trail coming out of the water right here. It's the one I had to come up because it was just too steep here. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. Good look at set. I'll get back in the canoe. Keep moving. Looking back at the set from back in the boat. I've got a crawl up right here going up over here into the sand. I've got a crawl up right here going into the sand. I took a canoe, splashed that slide down, making it look more freshly used and to help get rid of some of my sand I might have left behind. Right there is the 220 County box. Where everything, and there is trails all through that thick brush. I'm gonna move down. I don't know if you can see it. The screen's awful small. We're talking about setting on fresh sand. Everything coming up this creek, instead of going around this bush, is funneling right through here. I'm gonna put a 220 box right there get everything's attention that's traveling right through here it looks like mostly raccoon but uh i'll get this set put in because it's 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 a awesome little it's just a worn out little mud trail goes right up through there i'll get that set in and we'll look at it right there's my 220 box baited with fish and a little bit of crawfish oil it's anchored pretty good right there right on the trail got stuck in this soft soft sand getting back in the boat but uh i'll keep moving but right there's set number three Let's see as i move down look at what a den i just found it don't appear to be anything home that's just a perfect round den hole going up into the high bank right there it's cool to see I'm not seeing a lot of wear in the leaves going in and out of it or fresh sign along this sandbar but that wasn't there before huh. we'll keep moving well I'm definitely got to bring some leg holes with me tomorrow let me slide I found it is pretty fresh sign I mean it just rained it rained for two days and this there's some fresh sign on this but that's almost a vertical wall it's amazing what they'll do but I'm gonna have to set a leg hold right in there when I come back to check in the morning but uh, I'll bring some leg holds with me there's just a lot of little slides I'm finding That's pretty cool right there. I'll keep moving. Look at this old den I found. You can see it right in the hillside going into the roots right there. <sighs> Looks like a coyote den or something. It's huge. I could crawl in that one, but uh, I'm not seeing fresh sign in the sand around it. But it's still cool to see. Some of the stuff I see when I'm out paddling these creeks. There's a big den right there. I'll keep moving right here i've got a high bank trail that just runs parallels the ditch comes down through here you might be able to see some tracks 
But right there's my 220 box at the water's edge. Baited with fish and crawfish oil as a attractant. <laughs> Should work. We'll find out tomorrow. Found some more places. I'm going to have to bring a regular 230 in here. Not just the ones I've got rigged up for the the boxes. But you can just see a massive trail. You can see claw marks right in here. Going right up. Try to get some shade on the camera. But just look at that trail. It's impressive. That's 8 or 10 inches deep worn in the sand. But I would put a 220 on dry land. Right in here and camo it in. But it's just worn out in the sand. But uh, I'll bring some more stuff in here tomorrow. <laughs> I'm finding some sign anyway. We'll keep moving. I'll we'll have a couple crawl outs right here. And a high bank trail running down through here. But I'll put this 220 cone bear box right here. Should be some some movement tonight we'll find out i'm gonna keep making sets on the way out i found some promising looking stuff i'll show you when i get there it's a slide like that right there there'll be a trap on it tomorrow some of these signs it's it's fresh 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 that's just worn out i'll either have a 220 to put in that or a leg hold on that shelf at the bottom. We'll find out tomorrow. Some of this sign's really, really nice. We'll keep moving. I find lots, lots of sign like this right here. And it's fresh. There's slide marks in the mud. But they go up here on this trail. It's right in there. And then they just dig and dig and dig and dig. I don't... <laughs> I don't understand what they're doing. I mean, I found it everywhere I've went this season so far. I understand a slide going to a tree to chew, but these things are just digging, digging holes up on, way up on the bank. I'm gonna keep moving, see what else I can find. Putting in this set, I have a shallow water shelf that runs right down through here. Just off the bank, about eight to 10 inches off off the edge of the bank in the brush and I found a place right here that had a crawl out shelf and I put the 220 box right there baited with fish and crawfish oil we'll see how this works I like the looks of it but uh, I'll keep moving I'm putting in this set right here as every time I've come up this creek there's poop on the rocks. There's poop out here on the end of these rocks. It's just a place where something's always climbing in and out. So I wanted to try this right here. I'm gonna keep moving down. I just found this spot, it screams otter. That trail right there. I can get the boat to stop moving. It goes up there to that sandbar. Otters will use that kind of stuff right there a lot for a toilet. I mean, there's nothing to cut. No trees. Just a worn out slide going up on that sandbar. There will be a trap there tomorrow. <laughs> I got to bring some leg holes. That just screams otter to me. We'll keep moving. On the next set, I'll tell you the reason why I chose this one. Here's the main creek. And it's beat all to pieces. It's a little crossover going up into this other slough on this trail. Put the 220 box right here, baited with fish and crawfish oil, right next to the trail. Maybe this will work. I'm gonna keep moving. This is the last set I'm putting in for the day. Another 220 box. You can see the game trails running right up through there. Running right up through there. They just wore out. And I've got the big creek behind me. 
and it goes through this other little small tributary coming in so right here is the 220 box i got the game trails and the, and the little tributary coming in right here maybe this will work i'm getting out of here talk to you later